Ted update. Okay, so here we are on the last Saturday of January, and the team has asked me to give you an update on Prop 19. Uh, first, let me say rates are low and unstable, and I think you're gonna see that trend continue. But here's the update on Prop 19. It doesn't officially go into effect till February 16th, but probably I was voted to do this video because I'm the oldest one and I remember Prop 13. For those of you who are not aware, Prop 13 shelters the tax base. Back in the day before Prop 13, elderly people were losing their houses because they couldn't handle the tax bills, even when it was free and clear. So Prop 13 has been around for a long time and Prop 19 was recently passed and it sounded really good on the surface. It was to take a 55 year old and allow him to move within the state and keep his tax base. But it was a Trojan horse. And being of Greek descent, I can tell you, I know a Trojan horse when I see one. And here's the Trojan horse. Now that we've unpacked it, this house is a great example that's behind me. When the last parent or grandparent passes, the kids are gonna get reassessed. There's a few exceptions. You can read about it on a website that I'll put below the link. But here's the point. The point is, uh, you really need to know about Prop 19 because it's actually an opportunity for you to sell houses and for us to do mortgage loans. Uh, that being said, you're probably wondering, well, how? How is this gonna connect? How do I connect the dots? Well, for past clients, reach out to them because as they visit their CPAs in the next month or two or three they're going to be hearing about about this proposition and the kids are not going to be able to keep the house without the taxes being reassessed that is an opportunity and we're already starting to see it where the uh, parents and grandparents are gifting huge dollars to their grandkids and their kids in order, in order to be able to buy their own home so when the family home uh, is empty, they can just sell it. So this is a good time to reach out to past clients. If you're a new real estate agent, this is a good time to get your title rep to give you a report of all the free and clear properties in the, in the area you work. I think you're gonna be, uh, I think you're gonna be very impressed with uh, how this works and the team standing by. You do the fishing and the team will coach you on how to turn it into real estate transactions. And I just wanna say uh, a closing note, Thank you for your support. You guys are awesome. Have a good week.